Hello. So in this video, we're going to talk about the, the hydrogenation of alkynes. Uh, and again, I'm going to compare to the similar reaction of alkenes. So if you remember that alkenes react with, uh, what did I do there? I, alkenes react with hydrogen gas to produce alkanes. And that reaction happens by a uh, addition of the hydrogen molecule across the alkene. And so you might expect, if, uh, especially if you've been reading about the other addition reactions of alkenes, or I'm sorry, the other addition reactions of alkynes, and if you've been watching my videos, you might expect that uh, an appropriate uh, hydrogenation of an alkyne with hydrogen gas and a metal catalyst uh, and, and I have platinum here, but as, as I noted above, it can be palladium. Uh, honestly, it can be other metals. Uh, but that the, 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 the hydrogenation with one equivalent of hydrogen, uh, uh, the alkyne will stop at the alkene. But it turns out, unhelpfully, that the alkene is more reactive than the alkyne here. We are going to encounter... Uh, this situation uh, often in organic chemistry where the product of a reaction is reactive again under the reaction conditions and may even be more reactive than the, the reactant was. And so even with one equivalent of hydrogen, this uh, hydrogenation will reduce some of the alkyne all the way to the uh, we'll reduce some of the alkyne all the way to the alkene or to the alkane. It is hard to stop after one hydrogenation. Uh, and of course, if we were to do it in excess, uh, hydro excess hydrogen conditions, we would also, uh, and not surprisingly, get full hydrogenation. So if it's hard to stop after the alkene, um, how could we do that? Uh, it turns out there are a couple of ways to do partial reduction of alkenes. Um, one method uses a poisoned catalyst. Uh, a poisoned catalyst uh, is, is something that is going to make the catalyst less reactive with the alkene. Uh, and there are different uh, ways that this can be done. And I've got a video coming up talking about uh, poisoned catalysts. And something silly happened here. Uh, okay poison catalysts and what those are. Uh, for right now, we'll just leave off that these are poison catalysts. They are metal catalysts, but they've been poisoned. And by poisoning, we mean that we've done something to them that makes them less reactive with alkynes, uh, with alkenes rather, but that we are... Uh, somehow... Uh, preserving their reactivity with alkynes. Uh, poison palladium as our example here. Uh, again, and, and in, in the next video in this sequence, I will talk about the different poisoned catalysts and how they work. Um, poisoned catalysts, uh, and so this is one way of producing the alkene instead of the, alk uh, instead of the alkene. Another way to do it uh, is by a type of uh, reduction called a dissolving metal reduction. Uh, and, and here we're talking about uh, either lithium or sodium metal, not, not ions, in ammonia or an amine. Uh, we're going to encounter a similar type of reaction later in the course, um, but 
Lithium and sodium uh, are two of the alkali metals. They are very powerful reducing agents, as you might remember from, from general chemistry. Uh, they react with a lot of things to donate their, uh, their electron. And sodium in pneumonia is uh, perhaps the, the more common version, but there are some that use lithium and some that will use uh, amines or, or, or other solvents. And in an upcoming video, we'll talk about how this dissolving metal reduction works. Before we get there, uh, you'll notice that I've been using a terminal alkyne, and so the product doesn't have, uh, there's no alternative stereochemistry available for the product. What if we had an internal alkyne that we wanted to partially reduce? Now we have a choice. of uh, the trans or the, the cis alkene. Um, and you might be happy to know that the different kinds of, or the two different ways of doing partial reduction of an alkyne actually favor trans or cis. So there's some stereochemistry or stereoselectivity uh, in this reaction. So the poisoned catalyst, uh, and so this is, this is some transition metal. Poison catalyst tends to prefer the cis, uh, and that might not be surprising to you because uh, when the other cat metal catalyzed hydrogenation reactions, uh, the hydrogen atoms end up on the same side, so, so that's going to happen here, and then it stops. And then it, the dissolving metal reaction prefers the trans, uh, is selective for trans. And uh, that's going to be because that reaction has a very different mechanism than the hydrogenation reaction, which even though it stops at the alkene, it's going to have a similar mechanism to what you talked about, or what you learned about for the reaction of alkenes. So in the next video, we'll talk about... Uh, the poison catalyst reactions. Uh, and then in the following video, we'll talk about the dissolving metal reductions. Uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching.